Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical report events. And in the previous videos, so far we covered six classical report events: initialization, add selection screen, start of selection, end of selection, top of page, and end of page. Few events we perform the action, we perform the user action. Few events triggered automatically. Now, in this video, we will go for a dig down analysis of a runtime error. And what is the run name of runtime error? Page overflow. Remember, whenever we are going for line count many times, or I'll say so many times we will receive the runtime error page overflow. And this is the common mistake or common error we receive in the projects whenever we have the line count, whenever we are going for line count. Yes, in our current scenario, whenever current program, we are not getting any runtime error, but we will do a dig down analysis that why why we will get or why you will get a runtime error page overflow in which scenario you will get the runtime error page overflow whenever we are going for line count so firstly what we will do i will run this program i will show you the output currently what the line count we gave 10 in our current program and out of those 10, two are reserved for end of page. So total we have how many lines on the page? 10. Out of 10, two are reserved for end of page. These two are reserved for end of page. Yes, we are getting a blank line also because we are not utilizing second line as a part of end of page. We only gave one write statement as a part of end of page. If you see, we have one write statement as a part of end of page, but we reserve the space of two. That's why we are getting a blank line. So total 10 lines and out of those 10 lines, two are reserved for end of page. Currently, program is working fine. There is no runtime error at all. Now, we will replicate that how, how we will get a runtime error. So what I will do, I will open the program into a new session. Now, we will go for respective code changes. Suppose first scenario. First scenario, suppose I am saying line count is two and out of those two lines all two lines are reserved for end of page suppose i'm saying total we have two lines on a page and two lines are reserved for end of page i'm running the program whenever i will click on to execute button yes I will get a runtime error. And what is the runtime error? Page overflow. Now the question comes, why, why we got a runtime error when we change the line count? Simple. You are saying total lines on a page will be two and all two are reserved for end of page. Just see what will happen. All two are reserved for end of page. It means it will go for this or it will go for this blank line, these two. Now my question is, yes, whenever we are going for a page, what is the first statement in the page? This is program title. Then we have underline. These two lines are always, always on every page. But you are saying total line count is two and two are reserved for end of page. Now my question is, do we have any space on the page? 
to print these two things, we do not have any space at all. That's why we are getting an error page overflow. Yes, sir. This is a common mistake. Whenever we blindly give any line count at that time, yes, this situation triggered. We told two bracket two. It means we have total two lines and two are reserved for end of page. Now, all two lines, if you are reserved for end of page, how we will print these two default lines? There is no space on the page at all. Now, what we will do? Now, I will change it to three. Suppose. Now, I will go for three. Now, suppose I am going for line count three. Total three lines on the page and two are reserved for end of page. I'm running the program. Now, again, I will receive a runtime error page overflow. Why? Why? Now we are saying total three and two are reserved for end of page. It means these two are reserved for end of page. Okay. Total three, total three, it means it will be only, only able to print this. But about this underline, it will not be able to print because we do not have enough space because we told total three, total out of those three, two are reserved for end of page. It means these two are reserved. Then we have only one space left, one line space left. Then what about this second underline? We do not have any space. So we will again get a runtime error page overflow. Suppose now I'm going for four bracket two. Suppose we will change it to four bracket two. Now I will go for activation of the program. Now I'm running the program. Now again, Whenever I will run, I will get a runtime error. Now the question comes, why, why? Total, we have how many lines on the page? Total, we have four lines on the page. Total four lines on the page. Out of those four, two are reserved for end of page. Done. This done, this done. So two plus two, four. Now the question comes, as a part of top of page event, you are giving the page number. We are giving the column label. So we do not have any space on the page to print this, to print this. It is able to print this. Okay, it can accommodate this. It can accommodate end of page. Now the question comes, what about those things which we gave as a part of top of page? So again, we will get a runtime error. Now we will change it to five. Suppose I will change it to five. Very, very common error which we receive in the projects. Now I will run the program. Again, I will get a runtime error. Now I told five bracket two. Total five lines, two are reserved for end of page. These two are reserved for end of page. Remaining how many lines left? Three. It will be able to print this. It will be able to print underline. It will be able to print this. Now, what about this? It will not be able to print the column labels because there's no space on the page. So again, we will get a page overflow error. Now I will change it to six bracket two. Now I will go to six bracket two. Now total we have six lines on the page. Two are reserved for end of page. Again, I got a runtime error Y. Two are reserved. Done. So total how many remaining lines left? Four. These two by default done. Top of page done. Now my question is, what about data? What about data? We will not be able to print any data at all. So whenever it will be able to print the first, first data, there's no space on the page at all. So we will get a page overflow error. Now I will change it to seven. 
I will change it to seven. And you can see whenever I will change it to seven, then I will not get any page overflow error. There will not be any runtime error. I will execute. Now you can see there's no runtime error. Total what we gave line count seven. Two are reserved for end of page. Two are reserved for end of page. So how many lines left? Five. One, two, done. Two are for top of page. It printed the first line of data on the first page. Now it move on to next page. So total we have two lines again reserved. These two lines are coming by top of page. It is printing the second line of data and these two lines are reserved for end of page. Yes, number of page increased because we gave the line count seven now because on a page we are only going for seven lines. So it means we are printing less lines on a page. So it means the number of pages will increase but we do not have any runtime error at all because everything is accommodating on a page. Our end of page done. Our these two lines done. Our top of page done. Now just simple thing is yes, we are able to go for less data which is in the internal table. So this is very, very common runtime error which we are getting in the project. So you should think at that point of time, we gave the line count. Are we able to accommodate those lines on the page? If the lines are not accommodating, only in that case, we are getting a page overflow error. Very, very common error in the projects. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we covered that whenever we are going for line count, many times we will get a page overflow error. And why, why the, what is the reason of the page overflow error? That you do not have enough space on the page to print the right statements, whatever you have written through right statements. So check but the minimum line count must be required on the page so that we will not get a page overflow error. Now in the next video, we will go for again, again more classical report events. In this video, we have not covered any classical report event. We just covered whenever we are going for line count and this kind of error comes, why, why this kind of error is coming and how you can resolve that kind of error. So that's it in this video. Thank you.